Hi, my name is Joelle, and this is a Let's Be Creative video with the Luther Burbank Center for the Arts. Today, we are going to talk about projection, specifically vocal projection. What is vocal projection? Well, it's when you use your voice to communicate in a powerful and clear way. You might be thinking, Joelle, you're just yelling. No. No, my friends, I'm not yelling. I'm actually using one of my vocal resonators, which basically means when you use different parts of your body to speak, you'll find out soon, your parts, your resonators will vibrate. So that's the air working with your vocals. It's harmonic, it's harmony. So they work together to produce different sounds, volume and projection, which we are going to learn about right now. Before we get into our four resonators, we are going to work a little bit on breathing. Because what's the point of trying to project your voice if you can't breathe? If you don't have any breath, your voice is not going to go very far. You have to use breath. So a lot of times when we breathe, we tend to breathe like this. But instead of using our shoulders and breathing in, you're going to put your hand on your diaphragm, the bottom of your rib cage, and when we breathe in, we're going to make our bellies go out. So we're going to go, let it out like a leaky tire. One more time. There you go. You're strengthening your diaphragm. You're breathing from your belly. That means you're going to get more support and you'll be able to project louder when we breathe down here. When I am projecting, every time I take a breath, all of my air is coming from my diaphragm area. It is coming from here. I'm belly breathing. That's right. Every time I need to take a breath, I'm not going, right? All right, so you can try that a few times and see if you can really make your belly come out when you breathe in. So now with our vocal, our four vocal resonators, the first one we are going to do is our diaphragm. Our diaphragm is that built-in microphone. It's a muscle, it's a belt inside that lets us get really, really loud when we need to be. So we're going to go ahead and put our hands right back on our diaphragm and we're going to give a nice ho, ho, ho. Can you do that? And try to make your diaphragm jump when you do it. Ho, ho, ho. Try it again. Ho, ho, ho. Nice. Now we're going to meet another resonator, which is in our chest, our chest voice. If you've ever heard someone, maybe they're not talking like this to the back of the house, but they are talking to perhaps the front row. I'm probably going to use more of my chest voice. It's a little bit toned down from my diaphragm with how loud I can be, but it's still quite loud. So let's go ahead and put our hands here, and we're going to go, Ha, ha, ha. Can you do that? Ha, ha, ha. Did you feel the vibrations in your chest? If you did, great! I hope you did. You're using your chest resonator. Next, we're going to use our nasal voices. That's right, right here. Just like with our chest, the air comes through and it vibrates the resonator. We're going to use our nasal voice. Not right here. Not on our nose. No, no, no. We're going to use right here. Now, I want you to notice that I'm not just going, oh, I'm using all of that. Oh. No, no, no. I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not hurting my throat because I'm using this area to speak through. Let's try it. Let's go. Hee, hee, hee. But put your fingers here and see if you can feel the vibration. Hee, hee. Did you do it? <laughs> Good. Now, I would love for you to strike a pose. Any pose you want. And this time, we're going to use our head voice. Try it with me. There you go. That lovely high voice. Using these 
these resonators and understanding how our vocals work, how projection work, actually helps us save our throats. Have you ever done a play or talked a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, and maybe you lost your voice? You know, like it went hoarse. Yeah? Well, that's probably because you weren't quite using those resonators correctly. And sometimes, you know, overuse happens that way too. But when you use your resonators properly, you're able to take care of your vocal cords. Let's do an exercise to strengthen our diaphragm. I actually do this one quite a bit. I love to strengthen my diaphragm because I like to be loud. <laughs> so. What you can do is just take some books. I have some, you know, Dr. Seuss books here. We're going to take some books and we're going to lie down on the ground. Or on your floor, or on the stage. So we're going to lie on the floor and we're going to take some books and you're going to put them right on your diaphragm. It's actually very helpful if you have a little bit of a heavier book. Today I have some Dr. Seuss. <laughs> but if you have like a dictionary or something like that, even better. And when you lie down, remember our belly breath? We're going to breathe in and make the books rise up. So we're going to practice that deep belly breath. Are you ready? Here we go. Did you do it? It's actually super relaxing. Now we're going to practice some vocal projection. Now, you can go across the room. If you're able to go into a theater, you could use a theater. You could go outside, across a field, across your yard. Wherever works for you to try to practice using your diaphragm and other resonators. Today, I am so excited. I am in this beautiful theater. Can you see it? Can you see it? Aren't theaters great? Yay! For today, why don't we practice some projection by speaking really clearly all the way to the back of the house. How are we going to do this? Well, you can choose any silly sentence, of course, that you want. Or you could introduce yourself. Hmm. Hello, my name is Joelle, and I love theater. You could take a book and practice reading it from a distance. I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Now practice using your resonators and vocal projection by actually saying lines. Go ahead and choose one of the resonators that we went over and put lines to it. I do not like it, Sam I am. I do not like it. Somewhere over the rainbow. Theater is so fun. I love ice cream. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson, and you come back next Tuesday at 3.30 for another Creative Arts video. Have a great day. Bye.